Hi, it's Friday 7th of September 2012. Two trades today, break even day again. I've had three, well one, one day this week was no trades, one day was a public holiday, one small losing day and two break evens. So not a fantastic week but not a, not a uh, terrible one either. And uh, to take you through my trades quickly, this was yesterday. Uh, we had a kind of a, a spike, bull, and um, a gap, bull spike, and then bull channel followed by a tight trading range from the afternoon session onwards. And basically, that happened, that carried on again today. So I was waiting for the market to come up to these areas and then look for a short because I thought that we weren't going to go much higher than 28.30. And my first attempt at that was this doji bar into the moving average, into these areas here. So I got short under bar 4 at that price, which is 28, 22, 3 quarters. Um, <clears throat> let's just change this scale range a little bit. Let's just make it automatic. Um, Took a short there, market went about four points in my favour and then once it gone a fair way in my favour I decided not to, sorry I decided to um, bring my stop to break even plus one. I, I knew that we're having a tight trading range day but I thought well I'll, I'll leave it open rather than take a small profit. Um, leave the stop to break even if it stops me out fair enough, if it doesn't then I would have made some money. So the second attempt was we came up to an area which I probably should have offered blind really. I should have offered these highs blind. Um, but I didn't. I waited until the bar closed. Closed on its low. Uh, went short below bar, bar 9. Let's, I'm not happy with this range. This scale rather. Let's do that so you can see more. That's better. Um, so I went short below bar 9. And again, it didn't really travel very far, which isn't surprising. So that's why I moved my stop to break even plus one. I thought it was possible that we could come back up to the 28.30 area, uh, continue the range. But it was also fairly likely that we were going to roll over and maybe test 27.90. Let's just show you the daily chart. See this level here, 27. Sorry, that's the ES. Let's go to NQ. Um, so on the NQ, we've got 27.90 as an area. It's these highs here, these the high of the last week-ish. Um, I've also done a measured move of this range. I thought we could even see 28.55 today if the market had a bit of MOMO, but it didn't. Um, so that's what I was thinking there. Um, so I thought, well, on the bad NFP numbers, which we had, we could roll over today, but um, market found value at these highs, this high area. Um, so that's it, and uh, took plus one on that trade, so two trades of, of one tick each, and then the market just did nothing really for the rest of the day, and this is live now, it's 20 past 8 UK time, um, so as you can see the market's not doing anything, that range there, the market really shouldn't, it looks like this, pretty flat and tight. So that's it for this video. Um, not a great week for me, not a terrible week either. Um, I thought I traded reasonably well. Uh, the only the only thing I regret this week is this trade yesterday, which I keep going on about. Um, when I got out of this trade, because I, I saw this doji, it wasn't a great reason. I should have got out if it broke this bar here. So, so that's it for this, this video. See you at the next one.